Pat Love with <laughs> Pat's Two Cents. Romans chapter 8, now starting at verse 5. <clears throat> yeah. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then when, excuse me, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. They just can't. Now, stop right there. That stopped at verse 8. Now listen. Are you living in the flesh or are you living in the spirit? And this is what I say. When you understand that being carnally minded is doing whatever your flesh is ready to do, saying whatever words want to come out of your mouth, being whatever you want to be at any given moment, feeling whatever you want to feel, or living in the spirit which is refusing to give that nasty side of you any credence any play you don't give it any power you ignore it you lay that baby down because we are our own worst enemy listen i know a woman yeah check this out i know a woman she was with her daughter they were at a place where there was a security guard the security guard came to let them know they could not leave their car where they left it. Well, instead of them saying, okay, where can we put the car because we're short on time, blah, blah, blah. How can we work this out really quickly? Or is there a way you could just watch it for three minutes while I run in and come back out? Prompt, you know, not, you know, nothing with reason, negotiating, none of that. The first thing they do is what they want to do. Well, you know, you can't tell me blah, 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 blah. You take your MF and so and so and so. You can kiss my MF and A. And I mean, just like. <sighs> so what do they do? They make matters worse. And now they have embittered a person that could have been their ally. And they made that person angry because they made their job harder than it needed to be. Hate begets hate. So what do they do? The man threatens them and tells them, you get this thing out of here or else. Or else what? Well, right, the doggone. I mean, they didn't say doggone either. Ticket. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just going, oh. They ended up with a $50 ticket for nothing. Based on what? This so ugly thing called flesh that's living in the flesh woman gets in an argument with her husband i'm giving you i'm painting scenarios because sometimes we hear these christian terms we don't really know what they mean but this will help you okay you get a husband and wife blah, 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 blah. you get on my dam and nerves why don't you go f yourself and da 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 i don't want to talk to you blah 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 i know you're not talking to me i mean and they're just topping each other and topping each other and it's getting worse and worse then what happens the two end up in blows Things go flying across the room they're breaking things they worked hard and paid for Breaking up their own stuff, having hissy fits and adult temper tantrums. That's living in the flesh. You hear what I'm saying? Bill collector calls. <laughs> okay, bill collector calls. You're on the phone. You don't realize it's the bill collector till, till you're busted. And they are letting you know the deadline and what you need to do. 
Now, instead of saying, okay, thank you, and uh, I'll write down this information, can you give me a number, blah, 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 hang up, call back, talk to somebody else that acts like they have a heart. Let them know your predicament. Talk to them, reason with them. Now, if they're not reasonable, okay, thank you, goodbye. Hang the phone up. Don't buy into their nonsense either. Because there are stupid people that, that do debt collecting, and sometimes they act like you owe them the money. So, my point is, you can sit there and cuss them out, hang up on them, and do whatever. And all it's going to do is give them more justification to come at you. Come at you hard. But here's the trip. When you do it God's way, when you are polite and you are a person of integrity and you reason together with this oppos op op opposing force, so to speak, and you are trying to make a sensible conversation over what could be a stupid argument, what happens is if that person still comes against you, if that person is determined to make life a living hell for you, guess what God does? Especially when you take the time to ask him for help, to ask him to intervene. God begins to work under the surface on your behalf. And while you may have to deal with that a few more times, before you know it, it goes away. Where did it go? They didn't take me to court like I thought they were going to take me to court. What happened? God. You know why? You handle things his way, and he handles your stuff for you, in place of you. I mean, we don't understand the benefits of living in the Spirit. It really makes a difference how people respond. Here's a trip. Check this out. When you watch how some leaders lead with love, they lead peacefully, they're kind and thoughtful to their staff, to people around them, they build up their morale. They keep them filled with hope and encouragement. They make them feel good about themselves. They give them goals and aspirations and, and they, they, they ex expand their, their vision, so to speak. And then you have another leader and everything out their mouth is every other word is a cuss word and I told you I want you to do so and so okay I'm going to have to let you go because you don't know how to follow orders I don't have time to play with nonsense don't you know how to what's wrong with you all in public humiliating them now you got everybody else living in fear because they're afraid you're going to cut their job loose too so now they're tiptoeing around you like on eggshells. And they're nervous and they're agitated and they're also getting angry because you're angry and it spreads like a wildfire. The whole demeanor is different. The morale is low. You end up with fights among the people who are working for you because now they're all grappling for a taste of survival because they work under a tyrant. That's the difference between living in the spirit and living in the flesh. The flesh destroys. The flesh brings down. The flesh weighs you down. The flesh, the flesh is hard to deal with and has very, very negative results and negative repercussions. The spirit the long-term, short-term and long-term results are very positive. They're blessed. And time shows, time proves that living in the Spirit is way more productive, way more encouraging, way more positive and pleasant than living in the flesh. I'm going to stop there. Think about that. Which would you rather live in, flesh or spirit?